Do you, did any of you guys see Salah at the weekend uh, in the West Ham game? And he's stropping yeah. us. Unfortunately yeah. not. Uh, so I'll, I'll let Joel take lead on this one. Um, it was interesting. I think I think a lot of people are saying that it's like Salah's um, Salah's attitude or is wrong, and and Klopp's overreacted by him not wanting to give him a hug. But it's just obviously something. The I think it's obviously started from from Salah not starting for one. I think even if you look at some interviews, Salah comes to me he comes across as someone that that has that arrogance about him as well, that bit of cheekiness about him. So I think now that things aren't going his way, um, he's starting to you know bring some things to light. Um, but as I said, I don't know what's going on at Liverpool. I th- you know, you, actually, you know what? I think um, I think when Klopp sort of announced his departure earlier in the season, yeah. I mm-hmm. don't think he did that mid season. I just would not do that mid season. It can go one way or it can go the other, and it's obviously had, obviously had a detrimental effect. Um, to the to the title charge, they probably they probably would have got over the line. Um, but it's just even Van Dyke's interview. He, he mentioned he sort of hinted that he could possibly leave. You don't want your players doing that. You don't want your senior men doing that in in a title running like 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 like, like um, what we're seeing here. So um, yeah, I think the sooner that Salah's out, and then I think we're just going to see a better Liverpool side. To be to be honest, yes, he gets goals. Yes, he he, he has a big impact. But for me, sometimes when that star man's not in there, it forces the team to play for each other and not sort of, sort of be over reliant on one man. Seeing, seeing it with Spurs as well, to be fair. I think Spurs, I, I said it earlier um, in the last podcast, I think um, Spurs look strong. I, I think they've got something to build on. Um, they dominated us for, for, for the entirety of the game. Um, mm-hmm. And I think we'll see the same in Liverpool if they get the right manager. I will come in on the back of what Joel said about that Klopp. Um, you know, that, that Klopp announcement. Yeah, I, I agree with Joel. It was a very weird time to, to do it, especially in that crunch point after Christmas where you've still got you know, the FA Cup games, League Cup and you, your from Premier League games on top of that. But no need to think him coming out and doing that. I thought the language that he used was very strange saying he's running out of energy. It's like, is, is that what you hmm. want like your manager to be saying at the business end of the season? Going, yeah. you know what, lads? I'm shattered. I've got to pack it in now. If he said that at the end of the season, all you know, said and done, great, we'd understand. But say it halfway through a campaign, it it it, it doesn't set you up. I remember uh, watching recent podcast with Rio Ferdinand and, and Rio said when David Moyes first went to United and they were doing a, a tour of Southeast Asia and Moyes got on the plane and he was he was that tired because of the situation. He looked at Ferdinand and said, "Oh." That this is a massive club, isn't it? And it's you're thinking, well, if you're 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 already showing to the players that you're already defeated, I think Klopp's done that um as well. But I mean, City did something very similar with with Pellegrini in his final season. We announced that we announced Pep in the January time, and it completely ruined Pellegrini's final uh, final season. So we would say that I think it's I think that mm. would be a decider for for Liverpool. Really, I think it's absolutely curtailed. Their, their efforts because I think it's only on your podcast a couple of weeks ago, Mark. That Klopp has that mentality just to grab people by the scruff of the neck and just drag them over the line. And I, and I think the players haven't really bought into that this time, especially with you know what you say in January. Could, could I just say something? Um, to me as well, I know it's it could be completely way off, but Klopp doesn't look well to me. He he, do, he genuinely does look tired and. It's just weird that someone that has such um, a reputation for being so um, aggressive, I guess, in in the way that he coaches, um, in the in what he demands on the team, he, he doesn't look well. He doesn't look like a man that's healthy. So whether that is just genuine tiredness or it could be something else, I just think it's so random how it's all happened. Anyway, um, it'll be interesting to see what really comes out at the end of the season as well. I think it all goes into the fact that, that Michael Edwards is coming back. And I think Klopp, I think with Michael Edwards and his team coming back into the club, I think Klopp is is losing his power hold of that dressing room as a club. So I think he's probably seen okay. the writing on the wall. And I don't think it's probably the way he'd, he wants it to end either. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, fair enough. I know, obviously, Salo, Salo got the hump, Johnny. Um, I think he was substituted on, on the 79th minute. And from what I've read today, <laughs> he wasn't prepared to come on or he, you know, he was really slow. Like he just didn't yeah. want to, like he's getting slow, getting his boots on and everything else. And then Klopp had the hump with him. So yeah, but it's, it's definitely, I think if Liverpool lose Salah and interesting and interesting enough, I know he's 31. Um, and I think there was a Saudi bid for him 150 million last year and he's only got a year left on his contract. So I don't think a Premier League club would pay anywhere near that. No, but he's definitely got enough in him to go elsewhere like a Tottenham. 
Maybe even an Arsenal, Joel. Do you take Salah at Arsenal? Not a chance. <laughs> not a chance. Not in build-up. Not for me. Final third. Yep. Give it to Salah. No problem. Build-up. Nah, it's not for me. You do. He wouldn't see us at all. No way. <laughs> Sitting on the fence there. Okay. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Okay.